Okay, let's do a deeper dive onto those little caterpillars or worms that's been eating all the young buds, right? So here's one that is still in the minor league cup right here, right? This is my um, purple haze. And as you can tell, the top of it, there is something up right there, right? Something's been eating it. I know it's not a slug because there aren't slugs in this uh, little tiny pot right here. And um, so something is eating it at night. And here we are. You see that little white spot right there? You got to pay attention to these little spots. It's like a smear of something in here. See? Let me see if I can get a closer zoom for you. I'm going to angle it. See? It's kind of like spider, you know, spit on it or somebody spit on here, right? Uh, something is in here. I wouldn't be surprised that there's a, a, a caterpillar or a little small worm in here that's climbing up here at night, eating it, and then come back to his home right here. So, I see a little bit of liquid leaking out of here at this area. So maybe there's an opening inside here too. See, I don't know if the light can catch it, so let me turn this camera around here, see if I can catch the light. Now, maybe, like so, is probably the best way I can do it. I'm going to remove it a little bit with this right here. Let's see if this if it's removes, right? I bet you it's in there. I don't know. I think that was his home. He's not at home right now. Maybe he just went somewhere else. But I wouldn't be surprised. That's where the worm was. Because it has to be pretty high up here. To get up there and then uh, go away. So it probably went to a new home. So that's something. And just to show you. So I, re I remove uh, this branch uh, from uh, my Cosmic Charlie. And then you notice that. See? Right here is where uh, the... The worm ate the ate the tip, and I'm pretty sure it's a worm, because the bite marks are so tiny. And then I see that um, there's a lot of little white spots like this. So the worms has actually um, ate at the top layer of this uh, skin, that little kind of clear, you know, plasticky like uh, skin, and then it got into the inside. So that's how uh, that's why it's uh, white in here right now. And then it's been eating all around here too. And finally, see it even eat, ate a hole through it here on this side. See, so this is a close up uh, view of it all. And then uh, it finally made its way up here and that's where it caused the biggest problem. I don't mind them eating around here. But I guess down here is just not the uh, tastiest part. Eventually, they will figure out to go to the tip. Because um, on the tip, there's also, uh, it's always a little bit more moist as these new buds grow kind of like this um, right here so they know to always eat that and once they eat that it stuns the growth see so no longer good so I had to t uh, cut it off and um, now it's a waste so same goes for uh, the earlier the purple haze now it hasn't gone to the center tip yet see it didn't get into the tip it only on the side so this is still good but I need to find out where that bug is right see this is kind of moist down here so I, I think it was living in there. Now it probably just uh, went somewhere else to hide. So you got to pay attention to those little things. So a lot of things, um, a lot of bugs that come, that they don't come directly from the ground up. It, they could be on the hiding somewhere already where the, um, maybe a fly or a bee or something that lay, lay an egg and finally the egg hatch and it becomes a little caterpillar and the caterpillar is looking for food and it's like, taking out your uh because they you know i guess caterpillars have teeth and uh they they, they cannot uh, chew into the main portion of this um dragon fruit branch so they have to go for the the tender parts the tip or the edges or the young um on the young shoots so this is a deep dive okay after staring it up and down for a while i found it so earlier i took out that little cocoon that wet area but then when i looked down a little bit you see that you see that little right white wing right there let me see. right down there you see it that little happy face looking that is a 
worm or a caterpillar of some sort. It is trying to create another cocoon with the webs and all. I'm not sure. I'm gonna turn it around and I don't know if you can see. See, it's maybe this is a better look of it. You see it? It's trying to create another cocoon for itself. So it kind of left the one up there. So this is the guy who's been eating the top of here. Yup. So there you go. That is the worm that's been doing it. What am I going to do? Of course I'm going to remove it, but I need to put down my uh, camera to do that. Yeah, when I need to do it delicately. Okay. I took that worm down onto this uh, tissue paper. Now you can see it moving. Yup. Ah, uh, I bet you. This is the worm that's been eating my young shoots on my dragon fruit plant. So this is your uh, number one uh, enemy. I don't know if you want to call it an enemy. I mean, you know, they have the right to live too, but still but this is what it is see look how active it is and moving Ooh, you're trying to oh, try to hide away from the sun huh i know the paper's dry so it's gonna take them a little time to walk through but that is the guy that's been eating my dragon fruit plant see i'm gonna zoom back out and look at the damage he caused he almost ate the tip. I hope it's not uh, he didn't eat the tip. Yeah, he only ate some portion, but I'm not gonna let him keep eating it, right? Cause I'm not, I'm growing dragon fruits for myself. I'm not growing dragon fruit for, uh, I mean, it's not food for the larva here, right? Or the caterpillar. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in and uh, give you another look. Look at this little critter. Ah, oh, so there's a lot of these things all over. And I don't know if it's a fly's larva or what. It could be some kind of bee. Oh, this guy is just active. Look how energetic he is. Yeah, that's because he's full of dragon fruit and, you know, planting them. Oh, oh, oh check him out. He's looking... Oh, uh, my, my breath kind of you know, blowed away, huh? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It can freeze itself. Yeah, when there's a little movement. These little critters are pretty stealthy. Well... I'm excited, but of course I have to remove it. He cannot be, uh, you know, eating my dragon fruits. This is not, I didn't grow them for him, right? I grew it for my personal use. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video here.